All right. Hello, Geminis. Welcome to your reading. Welcome to Angie's blog. I hope you're doing good. Uh, this is a timeless collective reading for the week of the 21st to the 27. Again, it's a timeless reading, but it's usually messages that Spirit wanted me to give to you uh, for the portal that is coming in, the 22 to 2022. Yes. So let's get into it, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you, huh? All right. <laughs> Thank you guys uh, for your like, comments, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, anything you need to know about the channel or anything about me is in the description below. Also, if you feel called to, to um, there's an Ascended Readings for the month of February and March. So go ahead. Also, guys, thank you so much for your donations. I really appreciate it. Um, also, yeah, um, thank you for your likes, you know, because it also uh, helps me uh, energetically, you know, give you guys uh, better readings uh, for your soul journey, but also other people are able to find this message as well. So I appreciate it. Uh, what else? Yes, we have a podcast that's coming in also, episode 25 on the 22nd as well is coming out. Um, yeah, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, uh, for the good vibes. I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good. <laughs> it is the middle of the night. And this is the last reading I'm going to do for today. Thinker. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, it's the other way? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Gemini. So let's see what's going on with you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I already see that you guys are connecting to source, are connecting better to you know, your inner guidance, you're listening to, you know, with the 18, a lot of you are cycle breakers. Yes, with the 18, listening to your intuition, listen to your, uh, the universe, you're getting a lot of serendipity moments, most of you, especially like, you know, you're still like, oh my God, this is really happening to us, you know? But Spirit's letting you know, yes, it is. We're communicating through numbers, to our situation, people, um, you know, things that just randomly happen to you, you know what I'm saying, but in a good sense, you know. Uh, but also you have the treasure island in reverse. So some of you could be dealing also with uh, something that didn't follow through. Uh, it could be something uh, financial. It could be travel uh, plans, um, a movement, a moving, um, a loss of something, okay? And I feel like before you guys were like overthinking and stuff like that with the thinker card, but it's in reverse, which is good. Yeah, a lot of you were in your head a lot about this situation, but I feel like you're you're kind of gaining that inner courage again and remember that you're blessed. Okay, either way, that you didn't that whatever you lose in the tangible sense you gain it in the spiritual and you're learning this which is so beautiful you're not letting any self-doubt or fear get into your path which is beautiful and for that you feel this inner happiness you feel super happy and also that too is like with the two you're balancing your feminine side for some of you um you know which also also brings your creativity right it opens you up to a higher forces connecting better to could be with nature with gaia with your ancestors your angels and stuff like that and also that too it prevents you like your intuition gets heightened and it prevents you from you know walking into situations that you don't really want to be in like you know you're avoiding chaos and conflict you're walking away from negativity so in a way you're really grateful and happy even though the things that you have lost 
you know that you're gonna get it even more. So that is awesome, Gemini's. All right, let's see what we get into the tarot. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But very good energy, I'm feeling, yeah, Gemini's. Very, very good energy. Let's see. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. Somebody. I don't know why they will. Or hey, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, some of you are manifesting, or you're having some people manifesting, doing magic on you, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a group of people. It's okay. You're not focused on that. You focus on your, on your coins, on your health, on dancing, keeping high vibes, knowing that you're blessed. So whatever these people do is not affecting you whatsoever. That's good. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Hey, some of you are single. Celibate. Not exchanging your energy with nobody. Yeah, some of you could be dealing with uh, some financial situation, but you know it's temporary. These people, you guys are doing too much. Whoever is doing this shit. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's talk about it. Five of Wands. Yeah, there is a conflict magic, huh? Yeah, it's going back to them. All right, Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius. I have Aquarius in my head. Hey, maybe Aquarius could be a, a significant for Gemini. Um, some of you are working on your Nine of Pentacles, okay? Or you've been working very, very hard, and you kind of have you have a lot of people who are envious and jealous of you. Absolutely, they're also competing. Um, you know, trying to create conflict, chaos, magic. Yeah, they're trying to do some stuff to your finances uh, i feel like this bird i hear it like oh you're they have too much <laughs> excuse me who is who are you to decide that <laughs> these people have like a god complex uh situation so they feel like they want to be god but god is gonna show these people like no no you don't hurt you don't try to Mm -mm. yeah so consistent effort income material well sufficient completion project brings reward gratitude luxury security like yeah you're stable very beautiful energy it's like you walk into a room and people notice you right away like wow it's beautiful but then yeah you have this every moon cycle these people are trying to affect your finances financial desire is organized finding lack of priorities yeah instability because constant inconsistency silence i feel like this moon magic is like whatever they were trying to send you it went back now they're dealing with that now spirit is saying that you are in this four of pentacles right now you know financial you're controlling yourself you're saving uh your money is protected i'm hearing they're saying you don't have to worry about this situation okay uh, you're working on your stability. You're being stingy with your money, which is good. Keep on holding your coins. Keep saving your, you know, and give it to uh, people that you feel that they need it. You know what I'm saying? All these people, they can affect your money. They can't. I feel like um, a lot of you are going to be, yeah, yeah. This is literally God calling judgment on this. Or some of you already know who I'm talking about. This is just a confirmation for you. Take it how it resonates, you know what I'm saying? And leave the rest. Use the sermon, of course. But a lot of you, yeah, are just withholding your money from certain people, certain situation. And not only your money, your energy, your space, your 
the time you spend with people, who you spend your time with. Like you're very, very like stingy with your own self, which is good. You want to keep that energy, especially when you have people. Um, but also that too, I feel like you're a master manifester. You can manifest like this. Why? Because you have pure intentions. You have a pure heart. And they know this. That's why they're creating uh, magic and stuff like that to try to disrupt. Uh, yeah, you have a lot of competition around you. A lot of opposition. People who um, don't like what you're doing. And yeah, you're avoiding uh, with the tower card in reverse. You're avoiding this conflict. You're avoiding being around these people. Because you know, like, you're this wounded warrior. And you're protecting your territory. You're protecting your space. You see, with the Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, I'm going to put them together because it's like, you you work really hard for this. Like, that's why you're overly protected. Like, this is your baby. If it's a business or if it's a relationship, if it's a, a job, if it's something that you're, you know, you're working on right now that is bringing you stability. I feel like... A lot of people are jealous and envious of that. Judgment. Renewal, liberation, rebirth, judge for past actions. Revive spiritual awakening. Yeah, heal changes, second chance. Yeah, a lot of you are going through that. These people trying to send you conflict and stuff like that or whatever magic, it, it really activated your spiritual awakening. That's why I keep saying people like, be thankful for your haters, you know what I'm saying? And pray for them. Because what's coming for them? It's bad. It's bad. Yeah, beautiful. You're this Queen of Cups energy and the High Priestess. Yeah, you know this shit. You know this five five again. Five five five. Yeah, you know this. You and the High Priestess and Queen of Cups energy, you're very intuitive, creative. Wow, so much beauty. But it's not just like beauty in the outside, it's like the inside of you. Wow, Gemini's, this is beautiful. Oh my God. Like whatever they're doing to you, whatever they're trying to send to you, it's like it makes you more powerful, it makes you more beautiful. <laughs> Seriously. Intuitive, creative, visionary, new romance, new horizon, self-improvement, artistic, calm, compassionate, mature woman. And then you have the high priesthood, high intuition, your healing, acceptance, life mysteries. Yeah, you're, you're, you're keeping secret. Like nobody knows your business, which is very good. Keep it that way, okay? But you're also very intuitive. Because you know what people don't know they can't ruin, right? All right, for Gemini. So what advice would you like to give to Geminis about this? Yeah, there's just a lot of burdens in the past, a lot of lies. Yeah, somebody doesn't want you to heal. Burden, responsibility. You're working really hard. You're working so hard. Confusion, memory loss, power information, tired, fail communication. There's just a lot of liars around you. And you know this with the high priestess, you know who's lying about you. They're spreading lies about you. And they definitely don't want you to heal. That's what they're trying to send you stuff. Yeah, but your victory and whatever you're coming out with is your justice. For whatever it is that they're trying to, yeah. Oh, wow. That bad, huh? Yeah, they're trying to create confusion, trying to affect your money, your love life. Death magic, conflict, sex magic. Yeah, 
know, the Eight of Pentacles, like your work or something, it doesn't work for you. Like whatever you're working that it stops, like, you know what I'm saying? Like these people are jealous and envious. That's disgusting. But you know this. You're walking away from this group, family, friends, whatever the fuck. You're walking away from this. Yeah, you know that these people are constantly doing this over and over and over and over again. Ten of Swords. That's why you're cutting him off. You're refusing, you're rejecting this shit, this energy, whatever it is, you're rejecting it. And there's justice coming. Yeah, when justice appears, yo, I'm telling you, these people are going to regret for the rest of their life trying to mess with you, Geminis. I'm telling you right now. Achievement, praise, reward, gifts. Yeah, you're going to be praised. You're going to be victorious, beautiful. This is you right now, temperance. You could be an earth angel. Now you're balancing. Um, yeah, you're balancing your life right now. You're balancing everything. Your finances, your emotions, your mental health. Yeah, with the, this, you're a celibate. It bothers them because these people are all whores. Yeah, see, you have this. They have jealous, false, cynical, and realistic. Like, they're obsessed with doing this, by the way. Some of these people are obsessed with doing dark magic and witchcraft on you. It's pathetic. It's disgusting. But it's going back. Mm hmm See? Ten of cups in reverse. Oh, and now they're pain and grieving and lost. Oh, it's not working. Oh. Yeah, you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Generous, creative, financially responsible. Again, yo. Yes, Spirit's saying there's going to be some delays right now in terms of your finances, but don't worry. It's just because there's something that God is doing that it's not meant to be like, watch. Do not worry. That's the key here. Release the worry, the self-doubt, and the lack mentality, okay? You're okay. Do not worry. Yeah. You have a lot of toxic energy around you, y'all. Yeah, you're working on yourself. You have the two of cups. You might have a new relationship coming in. Could be a new partnership. You're going to have a reciprocity. Yeah, some of you could have sleepless nights. Oh my God, these people are too much. Okay, so right now they're having sleepless nights because they don't want you, like, you are in the Nine of Pentacles now, but they know that you're going towards your Ten of Pentacles and your Ten of Cups which is why they're losing everything. Like they're wasting their money for nothing. Like they having, they're trapped. They could be in a spiritual jail right now. Suffering, worry, anxiety, sleepless night, overreacting, overwhelmed by guilt, regret. Yeah, they're regretful now, right? Mm -hmm. After they did all this shit, while well, you are here looking pretty, working on yourself, doing good deeds. Yeah, it's a like community. It's like a group of people. It could be a third party. It could be an ex. Yeah, but they're getting by karma. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, boo. You saw the justice card. So the justice card. Oh, yeah. Temperance. Another card. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were trying to keep you in an illusion. Yeah, backfire. There's a new opportunity coming in, Gemini, so keep it to yourself. Keep your life private, okay? Okay? Keep it private. Nobody needs to know. Don't post your shit on social media. Nobody needs to know your shit. Whoever this is, this page of pentacles, this new relationship, new job, what people don't know can ruin, okay? Now you have someone cold-hearted, very bitchy and cold around you. Be a toxic mother. 
toxic friend, not healed. Yeah, they're trying to keep you burned out, like trying to make you think that you're there is no way out. Yeah, but you're freeing from this, this mental entrapment that we're trying to do to you. Protect your energy, protect yourself. I'm hearing selenite. You selenite. Where's selenite? What other protection rocks? You protection rocks. Uh, Paradise is very good. Jasper can make you see things that are appear to be right, but they're wrong. Okay, you need to have that. Lapasuli helps you with your throat and protect your third eye. Uh, amethyst very nurturing she protects your intuition I have some protections uh gemini's okay yeah you have a whole community like you have a lot of people sending you negative shade this is a lot we we'll suggest keep those prayers up those meditations up don't yoga whatever it is that you're doing keep it up okay yeah somebody's watching them though Yeah, you're the empress. Or you're going to be. If you're not there yet, you're going to be. Everything is being blocked. Yeah, you're healing. You healed uh, this. Don't give up. Break free. Avoid arguments. That's where you are now. Yeah, with the world card, again, another card. Yo, these people are going to get it. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> You too, you, all these good blessings that happen to you could happen to you all at once, okay? So just be ready, be prepared, you know, work on yourself, heal, you know what I'm saying? Let them do what they do. You just have to focus on yourself, okay? Yeah, this is a cycle that needed to be completed. Could be with this Knight of Swords, you can have an ex, like, just angry. There's someone very angry. Like they miss an opportunity with you or something like that. Like they wanted to marry you or something like that. For some of you. Some of you they wanted to send you an apology or something like that. But now they know it's like, it's like fucking, who cares? Like you don't give a fuck. This emperor in reverse. He's very passionate about you. Your lover's cards, the two of wands. Oh my God. And you guys are free from this devil energy. Now you're ready to receive your pentacles. You know, you receive your, your blessings. And this person are gonna be in poverty. Could be also a toxic soulmate or low vibrational soulmate. There you go, queen of wands in reverse. Someone doing dark magic obsessed actually but you're moving forward with whatever you build or foundation yeah page of swords in reverse someone you block this or spirit block this whoever this is they're blocking everything honestly be grateful god literally reveals to redeem you know what i'm saying they're trying to affect your your health to keep you in self-doubt. Yeah, I definitely feel like this portal for you, Geminis, is to release the, the bondage, the mental, mental entrapment, and also like give you that inner strength to heal whatever things they're trying to send you away. I feel like you're protected or you have nothing to be afraid, but I feel like it's mental conflict that they're trying to send, you know? And you know, that's how it works. The devil works with the mind. It's what it is. But you know how you can build a very strong mindset? Meditation. Praying. Pray to God to show you who your enemies are. Do some fasting. I'm telling you. Have a couple of days of fasting. Pray. Ask God to show you who you need. Like, that's the only person who can save all of y'all. From dark magic because that's the only person who can curse and remove curses 
The devil is very tricky and sneaky. They're trying to imitate God, but it will never, ever be like him. Do you understand me? Do not worry. You're protected. Yeah, I think so. All right. Yes, thank you, angels. Oh, <laughs> so itchy. Yeah, we have a lot of angels. You do. You have a lot of angels here, Mia. Hey, Michael. That's right. See, whenever Michael appears, that's how you know. You're being spiritual attack. And here he is. Protecting. Doing his thing. in reverse which is the okay okay interesting all right so let's get into it so Gemini's you have a new star is coming it could be this new moon I know the new moon the next one is in Pisces I think is it in Pisces? Oh, I don't know. But I know it's the 2nd of March. There's a new moon. Definitely, I would suggest to manifest. Definitely. But especially if it comes from a pure heart. Clean the, the heart chakra, okay? Work on that. Um, you have dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Absolutely. I feel like this is the time for that, uh, Gemini. Because... In order to keep your high vibration, there's something that you need to be doing that makes you feel alive again, that makes you joyful again, okay? After dealing with certain situations that no longer, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when, I, when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. So when you're present and in the moment, you know, it's like you're co-creating with the universe, okay? The angels are saying yes. So whatever question you ask, you've been thinking about, but I feel like it's a yes for to release, you know, release toxic situation, things that no longer serve you, okay? You have surrendered to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder of in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. Yes. Go, Gemini. Ajects and possibilities. So I feel like you're having a lot of doors opening for you, a lot of opportunities, you know? Things that that were not working in the past is already being, like, released. I feel like a lot of happiness here. A lot of good things are coming your way, you know? And I feel like you're going to feel very confident uh, saying yes or no, you know what I'm saying? The more you nurture that intuition of yours, okay? Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. Yes. With the high priestess? Absolutely, when it came out before. You have this inner knowing, inner, like it comes from your ancestors. It comes from a very long time ago, you know what I'm saying? Also, when Michael is here, is you're dealing with some spiritual warfare right now, okay? So make sure that you're protecting yourself, you're healing yourself. You know, you have a lot of negative energy surrounding you. But that's what I'm saying, also keeping the high vibe, keeping high vibration protects you as well, okay? But yeah, Michael is saying patience, be patient with your healing, with your process, with whatever you're going through right now. Uh, the king of earth is the king of pentacles, generous, professional, responsible, practical. A successful time, confidently accept opportunities you offer, the meetest touch. Ooh, you're gonna have somebody coming in, this king of pentacles very nice energy but they only will come in when you're going through that healing process okay the silver waterfall feels like abundance a lot of fruitful things are going to start abundantly flow into you the more you heal the more things are going to be like flow into you like just naturally okay 
Um, also, you see how this person is like in the water, like just enjoying, like maybe you need to be in more water, more in nature, you know? And also when you're, if you're not able to be in water or in nature, like do some meditation, like uh, put on YouTube, like some waterfalls or forests or something like that and envision that you're there, you know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily need to be physically there. Spiritually, you can be there, you know what I'm saying? Don't limit yourself. Yo, separation, all that stuff, sun loose. Let go of that. 24. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. I am generous. Absolutely, Gemini. And I feel it too. I feel like that's why people take your kindness for granted. You know what I'm saying? But those people are not your people. You know what I'm saying? People who actually value you. Yes. You're in this energy, divine feminine, magnetic, receptive power. Yes, spirit. I don't know why I felt like called to this energy, but this is you, Gemini's. You're balancing your divine feminine. See how she's balancing her inner light that it comes from her palms or her hands? Look at that. So much light. That's you. Balancing everything. Your gifts, your talents. Nurturing yourself, your body, eating healthier. And that too, don't think that waiting and, and um, this period of probably stagnation that you might feel, this is, this is okay. This is where you're being tested right now to see your patience, how much you can, you know, withstand, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like you're passing the test, you know? Yes, they're, the universe and angels are very happy with you. So be proud of yourself, okay? You're doing the right thing, okay? Now, this is for some of you. If you're doing stuff, evil things, and you're the opposite of what I just said, no. No. I'm not okay with that. Don't try to twist my words, y'all. Hmm. Brilliant beliefs, luminous life force, personal power. A lot of light here. There's a lot of light. You bring this beautiful light. Yeah, divine director. Yo, tell us Peter. Intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you're being guided. Happiness is your purpose. You're literally the co you're co-creating with the universe. Yeah, you need to set boundaries. Oh yeah, setting boundaries, rest, hold, protection, honor, honor your your boundaries. Okay, absolutely, especially with these toxic people that you have surrounding you. Yeah, five, five. Do we saw a lot of fives in your, with the tarot? Yeah, five, five is a change. There's a lot of change here. You're going through some serious transformation. Clarity, planning, releasing illusion. Because that's what they wanted to keep you, in an illusion. They were taking advantage of that, that you were in that illusion mindset and thinking that you didn't have a, you were hopeless and you didn't know how to get out or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Gaia, yes, yo. Tell it, Gaia. When Gaia is intervening to protect you, yo, <laughs> those people are gonna wish they never mess with you, okay? Earth connection, be mindful of the planet, come back to Earth, stay grounded. See, it's telling you to stay grounded, to meditate, to work on yourself, okay? Because the more you meditate, whatever uh, pain or thing, try to transmute it and give it to Gaia because she's able to alchemize it and heal herself as well. When we humans are able to transmute and alchemize our pain, yo, it's beautiful. Balance, stability, standing firm, yeah. That's what you're doing. You're bringing not only balance to yourself, your community, your family, but also the planet, okay? And it matters, we're all connected, you know? Take it from a light worker right here. We do this every single day, okay? <laughs> Bright heart, 
likes, yeah, open connections. That's it. 18, you're releasing karmic cycle. You're a karmic break, uh, how do you say? Break cycle, <laughs> breaker cycle, cycle breaker. <laughs> yes. Believe it, okay? Right heart, lights, open connections, yeah. The more you heal yourself, the more you work on yourself, the more you heal your heart, the better it is for everyone, for the whole collective Geminis, okay? All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped you. I'm sending you so much love. It was such a great energy. I love this reading, and I hope you loved it too, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>